So I got this word uh, before, uh, actually just after the election, I was reading through uh, the book of Jeremiah for my studies, and uh, I wanted to, to release this to you. It's, it's, it's a word I've sat on for a while, um, and, and I kind of knew that the Lord would, would, would bring it forth at the right time. Now I believe it was the right time. Jeremiah 29, okay? Now this was uh, a word that the Lord gave through Jeremiah for a people that were going into captivity. Now, whether you like it or not, you have to admit there's a form of captivity right now that is upon the whole world and that is upon America, okay? Uh, what they're doing with the Great Reset and imposing these non-scientific, uh, you know, things upon us through, you know, the invisible enemy, uh, it's it's a form of tyranny. I mean, plain and simple. It's a form of bondage and captivity uh, that's come on the whole world, which I believe um, fits conditions for the last days, right? Um, and here in America, I mean, since Joe Biden has come into office, he's done uh, several things that, that could, could not be interpreted any other way as conditions of bondage and captivity. And I'm not saying I know how long it's going to be. Hey, the Lord could deliver us tomorrow from it, right? Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to give you this word, okay, from the scripture. And this is what the Lord spoke through his prophet, Jeremiah, to a people that was going into captivity in Babylon. Jeremiah 29, okay, starting in verse 4. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all who were carried away captive, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and dwell in them. Plant gardens and eat their fruit. Okay, so what I want you to see here, the connection here, he says, I'm speaking this to those whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem to Babylon. Okay, who I have caused um, to all who were carried away captive. So the Lord is speaking to people that are in captivity, build houses, okay? Dwell in them, plant gardens, eat their fruit. So translation today, start new businesses, build new houses, continue to build, continue to work hard, continue to be productive, okay? A productive a member of your community, a member of your society, Continue to work hard, okay, for the kingdom, to the advance the kingdom, but continue to work hard for your family and believe for God to prosper you just like God prospered the Jews in Babylon, right? So you think that it's bad now? Imagine the Jews being in Babylon, okay? There was no democracy. There was no, you know, still remnants of a Republican house that could put up a fight against some communists, you know, that want to take over the country. I mean, there was pure dictatorship. Uh, dictatorial, I can't say it, but dictatorship, all right, pure uh, authoritarianism, government of the empire of Babylon and Nebuchadnezzar over the people of Israel. And God spoke to his prophet, prophet, build stuff, start businesses, build homes, right? Verse six, take wives and beget sons and daughters and take wives for your sons and give your daughters to husbands so that they may bear sons and daughters, that you may be increased there and not diminished, and seek the peace of the city where I have caused you to be carried away captive, and pray to the Lord for it, for in its peace you will have peace. For thus says the Lord. You hear that? So continue to plan weddings. Continue to plan engagement parties. Continue to plan uh, events, okay? Don't stop living just because the nation has gone into captivity. America is in a place of captivity right now, I believe, for her sins, okay? I believe you can't butcher millions and millions of innocent babies without having captivity-like uh, conditions come upon the nation, for, without having people like Joe Biden rise to power eventually, right? But you are the people of God. Just like the Jewish people were carried off to Babylon, a foreign land, Okay, in that same way, you are the people of God. You are the nation within the nation, the ecclesia within the country of America. And God will prosper you despite the captivity of the land around you. God will bless you, make you fruitful. He'll bring husbands for your daughters. He'll bring uh, 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 wives for your sons. And you're to engage in that. And you are to go on and live this life of peace. Yes, that's right. He said, seek the peace of the city. God would not have told them to seek peace in Babylon if he was not intent on giving them peace in Babylon, even in the midst of a captivity. So God says unto you, 
American church at this time and in this hour, okay? Even though there's some evil people in power, God will give you peace during this time. God will prosper you. He'll bring, okay, wives for your sons and husbands for your daughters. He will prosper you in your businesses, I believe, okay? If you trust him, if you believe the word of the prophet, and if you believe the word of the Lord, the word of scripture, amen? Who cares if COVID took one business, start another business. In fact, start five more businesses. One of them will take, amen? There's people during this COVID uh, process, during this, this COVID crisis that have lost everything. But there's also other people that have gained everything. It was the best year ever, okay? <clears throat> You know, so you got to be adaptable. You got to change with the times. You got to, you know, uh, what, what's it called? The old fighter expression. You got to roll with the punches, amen? But to the man or woman that walks in faith, to the man or woman that is connected to the living God, they can never be defeated, amen? The only way you really get defeated and shut down is if you allow it to happen in here and you allow it to happen in here. Be filled afresh with the Spirit of God. Be filled afresh with with the word of faith, okay? The word of faith that was delivered unto you. And be filled with the heart of God right now for this season. God will give you peace in the city where you're at. He'll prosper you financially. He'll prosper you in your business. And he'll bless your family despite the captivity that has come upon the nation that you're dwelling in in this time. Even despite, I believe, the end times. And if it comes time, to suffer for Christ, to count the cost and take up your cross. Well, you know what? God will bless you in that as well. There will be a crown of life awaiting you as you endure until the end. Amen? So whether the Lord prospers you or whether he decides to allow you to enter into such a place of glory, Philippians 2.10, where you experience the fellowship of Christ's sufferings. There's a level of fellowship you can never know with the Lord unless you suffer with him. Regardless, either or, you're going to be blessed. Amen. God will be with you. He will not forsake you. He will not lead you, leave you. I pray this word blesses you today. God bless. I love you. Be encouraged. God is still at work in your life. God bless. Oh, yeah.